Hi there, these comments are for A AYRC. This is Michael, and I'm getting ready to grade your speaking practice test here. So let's take a look at the email that you sent me. So you put, please listen to evaluate score, provide feedback on my independent speaking practice test. So the question is, many universities now offer academic courses over the internet. However, some people still prefer learning in traditional classrooms. Which you think is better? Explain why. And I'm getting ready to uh, listen to I it. Let's see. Advantages. Okay, I got it right here. And the, the other thing is, let's get the uh, IBT rubrics ready here. So, what type of classes do you prefer? Candidly, I think academic courses um, over the internet have a lot of advantages, like earning time, avoiding traffic jam, uh, decrease uh, the stress level of the daily life, um, in, increase the time, uh, uh, increase the sleeping time. Now, you're giving all of these different reasons, but you're not elaborating on anything. Do you see where it says in the three, usually lacks elaboration or specificity, but you're even worse than that. Mostly basic ideas are expressed with limited elaboration and support. Even though I'm learning many things, so I need to go to traditional classroom and improve my skills. <clears throat> so I need to go with some teachers. Yeah, so I, I think on this one, you got problems in a lot of areas here. I didn't even know where to start. But that's probably why you joined my course, to improve your speaking, right? And that's what we can do. So delivery, I'm trying to think about what's the best thing. Uh, I would first start with the vowel and the consonant sound videos and go through those lessons. I think that's important. Eventually, you need to work on thought roots and blending, intonation, and also sentence rhythm. But I wouldn't even deal with those things until you have a better command over the vowel and the consonant sounds. Your language use is too simple. It's, it's uh, not very advanced at all, so you need to improve your vocabulary and also your grammar. To help you with the vocabulary area, you can study vocabulary lesson three, lesson four, five, and six. That will help build your vocabulary to a much higher level than you have now. With grammar, start with the pretest in my online course and go from there. Top, <coughs> topic development, you just simply are not really elaborating and presenting details to support the reasons you provide. So that's a, a big problem and you also need a better connection of ideas. So the first step is go to the TOEFL Independent Speaking Strategies lesson. It's a master lesson in the speaking part of my course. Go through that lesson first. Secondly, you want to take a look at uh, speaking lesson number six, how to make your speaking and writing more coherent. I think that's also a good lesson for you right now. Your score here, I'm going to put you at maybe 1.5 to 2. I'm going to put you at maybe 14 to 15 points out of 30 on this practice test. All right, and thank you for completing this test and welcome. I don't think you've completed a practice test yet, so welcome to to my online TOEFL course and now remember that the more practice tests you send the better feedback or, or the more feedback you're going to get so it's important to do your practice daily and I will give you feedback each time you complete those practice tests and my basic rule is do not send more than one practice test every 24 hours and also make sure that you include your username that you're using for my course, put the username in the email also, so I know that you're a member uh, of my course, you're, you're a subscriber to my course. All right, thank you.